To all Full Metal Alchemist fans, I need y'all to do something for me, okay? I need y'all to look to your right, right? Okay? Now I need you to look to your left. <laughs> you probably don't see anybody there, right? <laughs> That's because your saver's gone, buddy. <laughs> You're weak. There's nobody to help you. There's nobody to save you. You're weak. <laughs> you have no backup. You're done. Guys, I'm joking, okay? I'm joking, okay? I already know y'all about to cook me down in the comments, all right? Y'all, I'm trolling. But what I'm not joking about is that Freerun has taken over as a number one anime on my anime list. Which, for those of you who don't know, my anime list is probably one of the biggest anime websites that, you know, anime fans use. Because you can track your anime, it tells you what new animes are dropping, it gives you anime reviews, as well as showing you what the number one rated anime is. And for the longest, it's been Full Metal Alchemist. But now... Freerun has taken over the number one spot. Which, I just want to say that I'm not praying on Fullmetal Alchemist's downfall, okay? I love Brotherhood, alright? This The anime's fantastic. But I've been telling people to watch Freerun for months, and everybody keeps telling me, oh my god, KT, that shit's boring! For example, right, I made a post about this on Instagram, and a couple people commented that they couldn't even get past the first couple episodes. So how does an anime that a lot of people find boring able to reach the top rated on my anime list? Which, I'm not trying to say my anime list is like the holy book of the anime users, but you know, it's a well-respected website. Like, people trust what's on it. And so I'm gonna explain to you guys why because I feel like the question isn't is free run good It's more like is free run good for you to watch because after talking to a few of my followers on Instagram I could definitely tell that there's a specific fan base that doesn't have something to you know comprehend This you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I can low-key do this all in three minutes, okay? This is slight work. So, let's talk about the plot. This is an adventure anime where we follow this elf named Freerun, who is a part of the hero's party who just defeated the Demon King. And now we see what happens afterwards, because, you know, usually in anime, it's about them going to defeat the Demon King, right? And so we see Freerun going off on adventures while we see her old party getting older. While she still looks the same, because, you know, she's an elf. They live for thousands of years. And before he hits her, the priest of the party dies. He pretty much gives Freerun an apprentice named Fern, who has a high talent for magic. Alone Along with Aizen, who gives her an apprentice as well, named Stark. And together, they're off on an adventure to go to a specific thing. Which I'm not going to mention because, you know, I want y'all to watch the anime. So now that we have a gist of the plot, let's talk about if this anime is going to be for you. Because again, this anime is going to either be boring to you or going to be in your top adventure anime list. And so the main thing about this decision is whether or not you're a patient and how much you can appreciate an anime. For example, right, let's say you go into an art museum. As a person such as myself, I'm gonna look at the art and say, okay, this is stupid, okay, this doesn't make any sense to me, this is boring, I'm gonna go home. While a person who's more into art and can appreciate it, they're gonna look at me like, KT, hey, what are you talking about? This is a this is a masterpiece from <laughs> And you can just see how he just captivates just the circle of life. You know, it just has deeper meaning. Which, okay, I'm not sure if that was a good example, but I hope this is like pushing you to kind of understand. Because Freerun is a slow anime that builds up to hype moments. Because in some episodes, it feels like nothing really happened. Nor is there any action, which I know that's what y'all need, okay? I know a lot of y'all need some sort of action scene in every single episode, or if not, they're gonna call it mid. But for me, it just brings out more of the slice of life to this anime, because, I mean, on adventures, you're not gonna be doing something crazy every single second of your life. While I also think it puts us in the perspective of Freerun, because you gotta Remember, she has nothing but time. So her pace is going to be a lot slower than now humans because, you know, she has nothing to be in a rush for. Which they do kind of address because Fern's always asking why they spend so long in a village. However, this is still an adventure because there are a lot of moments that, you know, they got to turn up for. Which you would never get to or appreciate if you didn't watch the build-up. So if you're a person that needs something exciting to happen or needs some kind of crazy fight scene to happen in every single episode, then this is not going to be for you. This is one of those animes you can relax, chill back, but then, you know, screwed up because some shit's about to go down. Also, something I want to mention about this anime is that the storytelling and just the character development is crazy because Freerun probably has one of the craziest developments that's like sad in my opinion because throughout the anime she refers back to when she was traveling with the hero and how she wasn't able to appreciate the things back then but she can now which is sad because most of them are gone and she can't thank the people that helped her out in which there's a lot to unpack about this anime like I could talk about this anime for an hour at least but I'm just here to talk about the question of the day does Freerun deserve to be at the number one spot in my opinion yes it does this anime is dead ass his anime is damn near perfect like, I love every single thing about this anime. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you've made it this far, first of all, thank you. You know what I'm saying? You're the GOAT. But if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to see more of me, go ahead and hit that subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Stay weaving.